Hello guys, hope you all are doing good. Guys, uh, in this era with the untimely lifestyle and uh, infected food, work pressure, it is almost uh, next to impossible for a person to stay completely fit and healthy out. And accordingly, by keeping this in view, the pharmaceutical and medicine sector opens new opportunities gates for a person to make a career in this. And for this, the B Pharmacy course is, uh, in India, we can say the Bachelor of Pharmacy course comes with a various great op career opportunities and lots of perspectives. So through this video, we'll try to explore out everything which is relevant, which you want to know before taking the admission out like syllabus, eligibility, admissions, proceedings, fees and etc. and all. So let's begin. The duration of the B Pharmacy course is uh, around which comes with the span of the four years consisting of the eight semesters and it's, uh, it means it's a semester patterns. Each semester is of six months means in the four years duration you have to study total, total of eight semesters. The syllabus of the B Pharmacy course has been designed in such a way that you have to study the five subjects per semester and in, total, in totality that means you, uh, as per the eight semester you have to study 40 subjects. Now to get a detailed overview of all these 40 subjects is not practically possible in this video. So I have figured out a technical way to let you know to in an abstractual and a short way so that you can quickly figure it out what you actually have to study in the B Pharmacy. And that is the course curriculum of the B Pharmacy course is constructed and fabricated around the four core branches. That means all the other 36 subjects are in support of these branches. So the first one is the pharmaceutics. Pharmaceutics actually is from A to Z about the allopathic medicines. That is the formula designing, formulation, developing all the basic dosage form which you have seen in the allopathy medicine world like tablet, capsule, syrup, suspension, emulsion. One thing I would also would like to tell you that all the, the pharmaceutics is the core branch of the pharmacy and all other subjects are in support of this. In short, we can say it's the life of the B Pharmacy course that is the pharmaceutics. The second one is the pharmacology. It's in short, we can say the what the drug, what the medicine, the dosage form does to the body and how the body responded towards that particular medic medication is about the pharmacology. Or you can say that you can correlate the zoology which you have studied in 11th and 12th with this subject. That means in a little way you have to study about the body physiology that how the medicines act into it like the side effects of all the things and all other stuff something like that. The third one is the pharmacognosy. It's a something different type in which you have to study about the herbs like ancient Ayurveda, the all the herbs and uh, medicinal plants about from their botanical sources, their therapeutic actions, all you have to cover in this particular subject that is branch we can say pharmacognosy. The fourth one is the pharmaceutical chemistry is actually the chemistry of the medicines. That means you have to study from a, from a pharmaceutical point of view. Like what is the chemistry of the particular drug? Like a drug, an API that is the active pharmaceutical agent is particularly a molecule, it's a medicine. So what's its structure, how it reacts with the body constituents, all these stuff you have to study in this subject, in this branch. Rest other subjects are in support of this as I have said like pharmaceutical jurisprudence and uh, dispensing pharmacy, novel drug delivery systems, all other are in support of these you can study. But uh, don't worry, I have placed the link of the complete syllabus, latest syllabus in the description of this video. Don't forget to check it out. The admission process of the B Pharmacy course actually have divided into the two segments. The first is uh, that you have to uh, appear for the, your state entrance examination. That means if you belong to a particular state, then you have to opt out your government official website of that particular state and you have to appear in the entrance examination to get you get yourself admitted and enrolled in the B Pharmacy course catering institutions. Like uh, you what you just have to do is to Google out certain things that the in, go to Google and type your state name and after that suffix it uh, with the common entrance test. Like for example, for Maharashtra there is CET that is the common entrance test for pharmacy. For MP is the MPPPT that is the Madhya Pradesh pre-pharmacy test. CG, Chhattisgarh is CGPPT and likewise many also. 
I'll, uh, I will try to uh, place the link of all the entrance examination of all the states in the description of the video. Do not forget to check it out. The second part is, uh, is on the basis of the direct admission that is the admission on the base, basis of your 12th marks that is the HSC. The most important thing that your marks should be at least second division or we can say some of the institution give uh, admission on the basis of third division but uh, the more good will be your percentage the more likely and the more fair chance to get a good potential institute. So these are the two ways through which you can take the admission in the B pharmacy course. Base of the B pharmacy course is also divided in uh, as per the two segments where uh, in the one hand the government institutes offer 20,000 to 35,000 per year of the B pharmacy course and on the other hand the private institutions offer uh, takes um, uh, I can say takes uh, around 40,000 to 1 lakh. Now the question will come into your mind that why this fees structure is so diversified. The reason is actually the not one but there are plenty of the reasons like the development, the infrastructure of the institute and what are the facility the institute is providing and accordingly the private institute get it fees fixed from the fix, uh, fee fixation committee of the particular state. Fee fixation committee is a very important point in my last uh, sorry my first channel that is the farmer friend I have uh, given one video that how to calculate your the calculate the fees structure of the particular institute from the fee fixation committee of the state but uh, you just comment me uh, about this and I will uh, bring the video on how to calculate the fees of a particular institute, the true fees. Eligibility of the uh, B pharmacy course is simply guys that you have to be a person from science background like uh, either you have to be from mathematics or from the biology. Lots of people used to ask me that whether arts or commerce people can pursue it. So guys the answer is unfortunately no because uh, recently in this video you have seen how I explained the syllabus of the B pharmacy is totally uh, fabricated on the basis of the science background. So currently as per the rules and guideli guidelines only a science guy can pursue the B pharmacy. So guys I believe that uh, you have uh, get the basic fundamental information about this course and this will really assist you. Now before uh, leaving off uh, I just would like to add some of the key points which you should uh, which will also boost you and motivate you to get into this. The first one is that uh, there are approximately 3900 uh, institution that is approved institution catering the B pharmacy course. So there is a fair and good opportunity to take the admissions there is no big deal in this. The second one is that there are more than 12 sector which offers the various job opportunities and roles for a B pharmacy graduate. 12 sector guys, it's a big one. And the third one is that the Bharat currently has more than 3000 pharmaceutical companies which also along with this the Bharat is the third largest exporter and manufacturer of the pharmaceuticals in the world. So you can think how much a big pool you will going to get after this graduation. So these are the some of the three points which will get you motivated and now the most two important things which we have to keep in mind and remember before taking the admission. The first one is that whichever the institute which you have targeted to take admission must be approved from PCI and AICT that is the Pharmacy Council of India and All India Council of Technical Education is very important guys. Check out the uh, approval. If you find any difficulty in checking out the approval status of the particular institute which you have targeted, just let me know and I will help you out. The second one is that before taking the admission, visit, physically visit the institute. It is very important. On, upon visiting, check out the status of the laboratories, faculties, libraries. Guys, you have to spend your most significant four years in that particular institute. So be very careful before taking the admission visit the institute. If you find anything fruitful in this video please do like and share and also uh, don't forget to press the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon. So here I sign off see you in the next video hope you like the one enjoyed and till then mo stay motivated and work smarter. Good luck.